In this video, we'll see how to use the alignment tools in ANSYS Icepack. For this demo, I have two blocks in ANSYS Icepack and I'm going to use the alignment tools to align the top block with the bottom block. First, we'll see how to use the Align and Morph Faces tool. In this tool, the user has to select a face and that face will be aligned with another face. There are two options here. One is resizing the object and the second is moving the object without resizing. If you left click on the icon, that will resize the object that you are selecting to morph. If you right click on the object, it will only move the object without resizing. So let's see how it works. First, I will use the left click button. I will go ahead and left click on the icon. Now I will select a face. If you are not able to select the desired face, click again on the edge. So this will now select the desired face. Use the middle mouse button to accept the selection. Then use the left click button again to select the target face. Now you have selected the target face. Use the middle mouse button again to complete the operation. So as we see here, the object has been resized but hasn't been moved. I can right click to get out of the operation. If you don't want this operation, then you can click undo and right click on the icon again. This operation will move the object without resizing it. So I'll go ahead and select the edge to select my face middle mouse button again to accept the selection then I'll go ahead and select the face for the target object and then middle mouse button to complete the operation. Now I can right click to get out of that tool. We will now see how the align and morph edges tool works. The align and morph edges tool works on the same principle as the align and morph faces tool. But in this case, the user has to select an edge for alignment. The align and morph edges tool has two operations. One will resize the object and the other one will only move the object without resizing. If you left click on the icon, the object will be resized. And if you right click on the icon, the object will be moved without resizing. First, let me try the left click. I left click on the icon. I'll select the edge on the body, middle mouse button to accept the selection. Then I will select the edge on the target body, middle mouse button to accept the selection. As you can see, the object has been resized so that the selected edge is collinear with the target edge. I'll click undo. If I want to move the object without resizing, I will right click on the icon, select my edge, middle mouse button to accept the selection, left click on the target edge, then middle mouse button to accept the selection. This operation has moved the object so that the selected edge is collinear with the target edge without resizing the object. Next we'll see how the align and morph vertices tool works. It works on the same principle as the align and morph faces and edges tool. In this case, the user has to select a vertex and the two options that is left click and right click option will either resize the object or it will move the object. So first I'll use the left click button. I'll select a vertex, middle mouse button to accept the selection. Then I'll go ahead and select my target vertex and middle mouse button to accept the selection. So as you can see here, the object has been resized so that the selected vertex is at the same location as the target vertex. If you don't want the object to be resized, you can right click on the icon, select the vertex, middle mouse button to accept the selection, then select the target vertex and middle mouse button to accept the selection. Now the body has been moved so that the selected vertex and the target vertex are at the same location without resizing the object. The next alignment tool is Align Object Centers. 
this tool will align the centers of the two objects. The object will be moved so that its center will coincide with the center of the target object. Left click on the body to be moved. Click the middle mouse button to accept the selection and then left click on the target object and then middle mouse button to accept the selection. The object has now been moved so that the center of the selected object is at the same location as the center of the target object. The next tool that we'll see is Align Face Centers. Align Face Centers aligns the center of two faces. The object will be moved so that the selected face will be centered on the face of the target object. So in this case, I'll select the face that I want to move. I have selected the face to be moved. Middle mouse button to accept the selection. Now I will use the left mouse button to select the target face. Middle mouse button to accept the selection. Now the object has been moved so that the selected face and the target face have the same center. The next tool that we will see is Morph Faces. Morph Faces matches the faces of two objects. The object will be resized so that the selected face is at the same location as the shape of the target face. I will go ahead and click on this icon. Now I will select the face on the object that I want to move. Use the middle mouse button to accept the selection and then click on the target face and use the middle mouse button to accept the selection. The object has been resized so that the selected face matches and aligns with the target face. Finally, we'll see how Morph Edges works. I'll click on the Morph Edges icon. I will select the edge that I want to morph. Middle mouse button to accept the selection and then left click on the target edge and then middle mouse button to complete the selection. The object will be resized so that the selected edge is at the same location and the shape as the other edge. So in this video, we saw how alignment tools work in ANSYS Icepack. Hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.